Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend vlog. I do have a wedding that I'm prepping for currently that is happening tomorrow. And then I have a photo shoot that is happening on Saturday that hopefully I can film for you guys. Sorry for the awkward angle and for the echoey-ness. Since this is the first week that I am full-time as a makeup artist, I'm kind of altering the days that I work at my office job depending on my clients throughout the week. And I did have a client that happened on Wednesday. So of course I have a set of brushes that I have not cleaned yet. It is currently Thursday. So I am just cleaning them right now. And I have my little soap mixture. This is about 80% of Dawn dish soap and 20% of olive oil in case you guys are wondering how I clean my brushes. I usually never spot clean my brushes on site because spot cleaners only get them about 99% clean. So I make sure I have a fresh set for every person. And it also saves a lot of time from having to spot clean in between people on site. This is probably about how many brushes that I use per person. I probably need to cut down a little bit more. <laughs> Now I'm in the process of prepping some touch-up kits for tomorrow. I have six people in total, which honestly should be a pretty chill wedding because two of those are junior bridesmaids. For tomorrow, I'm going to a wedding venue that is called The Wooded Knot. It's in Tippecanoe, Indiana. I think it's about 45 minutes away from me, I wanna say. What's really funny about it is I reached out to a whole bunch of wedding venues around me to try to get on their vendor referral list. I reached out to The Wooded Knot. They messaged me back and went, you're actually already on our vendor referral list. And I go, no way. Just got all my touch-up kits together and I have seven all together because of the extra one. Now I'm going to be putting everything inside of this bag here. I have everything else packed and prepped here. Also, something really exciting happened today. My order from Camera Ready Cosmetics finally came. You guys always ask me if spraying alcohol on your products dries things out, and it kind of does after a while. That's why I went ahead and am trying the Beauty So Clean spray. This is basically a cosmetic sanitizing mist that's not supposed to dry out your products. I just bought a travel size version just to carry around in my kit and for it to be really handy. You can buy larger bottles of this to refill it. Then I also needed to refill on the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner that I have. Again, as I said before, I don't use it that often. I basically just use it if I'm in a bind and maybe I ran out of brushes on the last person or something, but I try not to use it as my cleaning method in between people. I try to have fresh sets of brushes every single time. Then I got some new products here. I decided to purchase the Graftobian High Definition Color Palettes, but they're in the color correcting shades. I bought two different ones here. So I have the light one and I have the deep one. Also, these are replacing the LA Girl color correctors in my kit because I think those are getting really close to expiration. This is the light one. And then this is what they look like. And then this is the deep one. It looks like that. And I also decided to get a actual heavy duty concealer. This is the Mehron tattoo cover. The only time I ever use cream concealers is if I have some major areas to cover. And there is some times where people have asked me to cover bruises or hickeys or tattoos on their bodies. And I never have enough products to cover that for them. So I wanna make sure I have something just in case. So this is the Mehron tattoo cover. As I said before, it just looks like this and it comes in like a little wheel. And then there is a bunch of product inside of there. Then the last two things that I got, guys, you're gonna die. <laughs> I have view set containers for different things inside of my kit. I used them for the bobby pin holder that I just showed you. And then I also use the same one, but for lashes. This is the other view set palette that I used to keep in my kit and it used to be filled with colors. These are very lightweight and handy to carry around. They recently came out with mini versions of of view sets and guys, I'm dying. <laughs> I just feel like these things are the cutest freaking things ever. It's so small. I don't know if you guys can actually tell, but like it's so, so tiny. And then if you guys thought this one was tiny, ready? Look at this thing. Look at it. I do like the fact that because it's so tiny, it needs these little tabs on the side so you can like anchor your thumb. So this one has six compartments inside of it and this one has 12 inside of it. Anyways, that's about it for today though. And I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning when the wedding happens. Good morning, guys. It is currently 5.50 right now. Oh my goodness. 
I'm just going to start getting myself ready here. I woke up a little bit earlier um, because I definitely realized that the venue was farther away than I thought it was. Um, it's a little bit over an hour. It's like an hour and like five minutes according to my GPS. I might be also hitting work traffic at this point in time because I'm doing this on a Friday. I'm just gonna be recurling parts of my hair. I'm headed to the wedding now. Sorry, I kind of just jumped to the car scene. I kind of started running behind because I tried to start editing a video, got caught up with that, and then realized that I had to leave by 6.50, and it was like 6.55 when I left. Not like it makes much of a difference, but I wanted to make sure to get there before eight o'clock, but I'm arriving there exactly at eight, which makes me nervous because hopefully I just don't run into like any accidents or anything. I also did realize that I left the house without the bride's contract too, which has the consultation sheet on it, but I'm pretty sure I know what products I used on her. Also, my bride was so sweet yesterday. She messaged me and I was about to text her anyways because I needed to ask her permission to film her and her girls. And she offered to get me Starbucks, which was awesome because I'm probably going to need to pick me up here. Yeah, hopefully I have a pretty uh, peaceful drive and then I will probably just talk to you guys later. <laughs> Step up. I'm through trying to 
to tell you what to do How to make me fall for you You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest Oh my god, literally one of the smoothest weddings I think I've ever done. It was just nice to not be rushed the whole time. And I don't know what's been with me lately, but literally I finished an hour early for this one too. I think I'm getting really good, guys. I allotted 45 minutes for every person except for the half hour for each of the junior bridesmaids. Also, my bride was really sweet and ended up getting me my Starbucks here. So now I'll have that to sip on on the way home. And also something really exciting is happening later because I'm going out with my husband tonight. My birthday is actually next Tuesday on May 10th. I am celebrating with my husband tonight because that was the only night that I really had to celebrate. I do line dancing on Tuesdays and it's the very last class uh, this coming Tuesday on my birthday so I needed to go to that so I wasn't able to celebrate the actual night of my birthday which is completely fine. I'm going to this restaurant called Takaoka. It's basically a hibachi Japanese style grill um, and I absolutely love it. I've been going there for my birthday for like years now and that is the only thing I have planned for today so I'm gonna go ahead and just drive the hour back home. Pretty smooth drive. It's not raining now um, so it should be pretty chill and yeah I'll just talk to you guys when I get home. Okay guys I just got home. Haven't cleaned my kit or anything. I'm procrastinating. I just got these cute little holders for my succulent my husband and I went to the town and country home show in Fort Wayne and we well I picked up three succulents from this one home builder because they had succulents as a little gift that you could take on the way out and I totally grabbed three so I have this guy right here then I still need to add more dirt to the other ones but then I have um, this and then this is the other one here but yeah I just got these planters off of Amazon I bought some organic potting mix and then right now my husband is trying to figure out how to fill up the little cactus food. I don't know, but it stinks. I know, it smells really bad. <laughs>
Okay, I successfully transferred my plants. So look at them. Look at how cute they are. This guy, this guy, and this guy. I've never actually had a lot of luck with succulents. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> or any plants for that matter. I really don't have a green thumb. I'm gonna go ahead and just be cleaning up my kit here for a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna show the process on camera because I feel like you guys have seen this a ton of times and I included it in the last vlog. I'll probably take this camera with me to dinner tonight just so you guys can see it because they do all sorts of like really cool tricks and everything with the hibachi grill. So yeah, um, besides that though, I think that's pretty much about it and I will talk to you guys later for dinner. All right, hubby and I are headed to birthday dinner. If you guys have never been to hibachi grill, they do these tricks with eggs and toss them up in the air and then crack them on the little uh, spatulas that they have and it's really funny because my husband here wants to try it in our kitchen because for some odd reason he thinks that it would be a good idea. I know I can do it. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> let me let with you Let me be in your crew I just wanna be free Be with people like me I don't wanna waste another night I just wanna hit the floor Maybe somewhere I haven't been before I don't wanna kill the vibe I don't wanna feel it if it don't feel right I just wanna break the ice Okay guys, I am back home and done with dinner. I always forget how good it actually is until I'm there and eating the food. I'm such a foodie. Anyways, I gotta finish cleaning up my kit. I have a photo shoot tomorrow where I'm doing hair and makeup for the same photographer that I usually work with. Then I did wanna share with you guys that I did end up converting my little creams right here. So these are the two P. Louise bases. One is right here and one's right here. And then I just left this spot empty because I think I might get another color. All of these three are the MAC paint pots. I also might fill this with MAC soft oak. I'm not really sure. Then I'm gonna work on depotting all of these color correctors into this little palette. Okay, I finished depotting all the creams into this little palette. Babe! <laughs> hate you. I finished depotting all of my creams into this little palette here and I think it looks so aesthetically pleasing. I think that that is about it for today. So I will probably just touch base with you guys tomorrow when I go to the photo shoot. Morning guys, it is currently about 6.20. I woke up about 20 minutes ago. I was trying to do my millionaire morning routine that I've been doing for the past couple of weeks now. I've been waking up on my days off at six o'clock and I've been then setting goals for myself. So primary goals that I need to accomplish that day and then secondary goals that are not like really time sensitive. And then I am meditating in the morning for about 10 minutes. It's been helping me a lot. Oh, and then I've also of course been like trying to do some sort of um, like morning routine, getting myself dressed, getting myself ready, just so I'm not lounging around in pajamas all day. I did kind of cheat though, because I already did look at technology. You're not technically supposed to look at technology in this like 30 minutes before you go to bed and then 30 minutes when you wake up. But I had a couple of emails that were just sitting there that I needed to respond to that like have been sitting there since Thursday. And it's currently Saturday. I just have to do the morning routine. And then I need to get all these freaking brushes from yesterday into my brush belt. And I'm gonna finish up the rest of my routine in here. I'm going in with the Good Molecules toner here. I've really been liking their products. They're pretty gentle on the skin. Usually toners have either some sort of fragrance or they smell like really alcoholy. And this one does not, which I really appreciate. Then I'm going in with the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. This is also from Good Molecules. I've really been liking this eye gel. And it comes with a ton of product inside of here, which is awesome. But I usually take about this much on my finger. And then I go ahead and rub it around. And then I just like to kind of massage it. Then I'm going in with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I just have a little sample of it that I got from Ulta at one point in time. I'm almost out of it. And then this is the book that I'm currently reading. It says The 4-Hour Workweek. And it's by a guy named Timothy Ferris. You guys might have 
seen it before. It basically just talks about having the, like the free time and leisurely time to be able to only work minimal hours and just kind of um, live your best life. So I feel like it's a very inspirational book though. Okay, now I'm on my floor. I just finished packing for my job today. So now I'm going on to YouTube and bringing up a meditation guide. Settling in and allowing the mind and body to still. Taking a deep breath in and releasing it fully. Okay, I just got done with meditation and my brain has literally been super unfocused recently and I thought that this would help with calming it down. It kind of sort of did, but at the same time though, I don't know if I'm also just sleepy. Ended up doing it for about eight minutes and then my mind just started wandering. I started shifting around and I couldn't focus. I do have two dogs that just bark randomly, so that also could be a thing too. I just don't have a big enough house where I can go down into like a basement or another space or something to really concentrate. For right now though, I am probably going to start getting myself ready and then I probably will just talk to you guys after I head out for my photo shoot later. Okay, just got myself dressed and ready to go. I just have a very simple makeup on. I've really been loving cool tone taupey eyeshadows recently. Put dry shampoo in my hair and just um, brush through my hair with my hands. And then I just have on this sweater here, black pants and some brown boots just to match the top. And yeah, I'm gonna be heading out here soon and I will talk to you guys when I get to the photo shoot. Okay, I'm done with the photo shoot and that was so much fun. I've never really stayed with Brittany, the photographer before during her shoots to change up makeup looks. But since this one incorporated such a bright look for the candy theme, then I decided to volunteer to stay and switch the makeup look just to transition into a normal boudoir session. I did have to blur out some things obviously because I didn't want to get demonetized on YouTube and I wasn't sure how much I could actually show on here. Anyways, I'm probably going to end this vlog here. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on the video as well as also subscribing to my channel. I do upload a ton of makeup artist related content, so if that's something that you guys are interested in, then definitely subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.